All right, man. Uh, you know, the, the Detroit Lions draft, Aiden Hutchinson, the slay old tickets. Uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video, check out Detroit Lions talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And I said, we're going to talk about the draft tomorrow. Um, um, they continue to be conservative, and that's fine because we didn't we didn't been not conservative. If you remember those days where, and then we take like a receiver three years in a row in the first round, so you can make you can make that the case that you know they didn't have drafts where they ain't been so conservative, and they had drafts that they've been conservative. We had a lot of drafts where they've been uh, conservative a lot. You know what I'm saying? Recently, it's either been you know, and when they done they they have got you know. A little bit out there with the draft. It's kind of been like uh, tight ends of lately. It's been tight ends, or it's been a cornerback or drafting guys out of position now, out of position where they should take. But uh, talk about check out Detroit Lions talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. Want to financially support the channel? Cash app dollar sign CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good 313, uh, PayPal link in the description or Cash App Venmo rolling at the bottom of your screen. All right. So, you know, when they have, you know, you know, uh, not been like conservative or whatever, it's been pretty much or been out there. It's been over like drafting guys out of out of where you should draft them at, at, at the draft. And, you know, Campbell said that, you know, for the most part, um, you know they ain't. They don't really. They ain't really care. They just you. They, they like you. They gonna draft you. But if you read here, it says Lions just put the ball in the middle of the fairway. Pretty easy decision. You know, Aiden Hudson may not win Defensive Player of the Year award, but it feels like he's going to make a bunch of Pro Bowls. He'll also sell tickets right away, staying in Michigan. So that's is is that what it is? Is it just sell tickets? You know, and everything. Like I said with the Lions, part of not getting the quarterback was I told y'all they don't want to pay two people, right? They cut the ticket, so you think they're going to carry somebody like Baker Mayfield? You know, even if the Browns play the majority of Baker Mayfield's uh, contract, the Lions just, you know, um, the Lions just, the Lions, they they run on, on finances, bro. And that's what it is, you know. They cut the tickets, and, and you think it's a, a – a, I think it's you know I think it's not on. They want to sell tickets, I, but I, like I said before, I guess people, Michigan they're hoping you know some of them alumni, of Michigan and supporters at Michigan, they fill up the big house every Saturday, no matter how many yoke or how good they is. They are hoping that some of them will make their way down ninety four. You know what I'm saying? And come and come see Aiden Hudson. But like I said before, uh, I mean, who wanted? I mean, who are we really paying money to watch somebody rush the passer? Pins buy tickets to watch touch to watch touchdowns being scored. You know what I'm saying? In game first, they want to watch games being won. But if you're talking about as a ticket attraction, that's like saying I want to go pay. You know, I'm gonna pay a thousand dollars for a floor seat to watch do Kimbe Mutombo black a shot. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna I'm go out there and watch. You know, Ben Wallace rebound. Like honestly, nobody care about that. If you're gonna pay a thousand dollars to see somebody's gonna be Kobe, you know, operating score, Michael Jordan dunking scores, Dominique. Duck and score and see Larry Bird put on the show with his left or right hand. That's what you're paying for. So if that if that was a if that was a big critical thinking as far as drafting Stingley, Sauce Gardner, and Kayvon Kibbutt or anybody else, like I said before, you know, I don't. I mean, once they keep losing games, people still not gonna buy tickets, no matter how electric Hutchinson is. Now, if that's somebody running the ball like Barry Sanders or they doing plays like you know K9 did. Kenneth Walker III in, in college, then hell yeah. But right now, leaving this draft, right now, the Lions come whatever week one is, they don't have anybody that's going to drag me down there at all. I don't care about Aiden Hudson rushing the passer. Now, you know, I wish him nothing but success, and I think the Bolsa twins helped him out a lot because they he he measured out to be better athletes for him and he had a big year this year 14 sacks but if if this was a reason it just let you know why this this team continues not to be successful because the fours running they run it to make money 
right? If they keep losing money, if y'all stop going down there, maybe we'll win some football game. Maybe even Mux about or Jeff Bezos about a team. But every time they the every time they win one game, it's like the Super Bowl. You know, and they got still fans who could play and still go. At the end of the day, we need to change. We need to change our, our expectations, bro. We need not yet, we need to change our intentions. Don't go buy no damn tickets. Go find something else to do and go fishing. Go to the Pantheon. It's a lot of great things. Go to the casino. You can take that very same money at the casino. And I guarantee you go down there eight weeks out the year at the casino. You're going to get more out of the casino in eight weeks. You go down there on Sunday and you go down there at Fort Field and waste your money on popcorn, chips, and seeing a losing product. We can't have it both ways. You can't bitch and complain about the Lions being bad and they'll continue to make mistakes and then go down and support it. That's like rewarding your kid for doing bad at school. What you think he's going to grow up and do, be, you know, or she going to be? So if this was if this was the whole method behind their madness as far as drafting this guy because he's selling tickets, bro, at the end of the day, dude, he better produce. And Jermaine Johnson, George Carla Fetus, um, 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 Kayvon Kibido, uh, Evan Neal, uh, uh, if you know, even Malik Willis now, if any of these dudes they had an opportunity to get and they become they be really, really great, and they in 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 Hutchinson don't or or Jamison Williams don't, and they drafted three, and I, I can't help myself here, they drafted three players with recent injury history. You hear from Kentucky as a cancer survivor, Jamison Williams uh, injured right now. Why, the, why would I rush him back to play next season? I would not rush Jamison Williams back. That would be the dumbest thing of all time. I would not rush him back to play next season. I'll let him heal up, bring him back in next season. Right? And then they drafted uh, the tight end from Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, he coming off an injury. So I just know when they Lions take risks, they take risks on dudes with injuries. They do, but... Like I said before, did he better produce? He better produce. He better be that guy. You know, it, you know, will it be an Ziggy Ansa and a Bartavius Mingo thing? Could be. It could be. When neither one of them shit, you know, maybe somebody start off fast and look good, and then at the end of the day, neither one of them was was, was nothing at all. So I mean. Who knows? But you know, we you know, like I told y'all about them. I'm gonna talk about this tomorrow. Like I told them about how they think. They not gonna get a quarterback until it's the absolute until it's the last minute. And don't be surprised if Mark if Jared Goff don't play well this year. Don't be surprised, and they pay him. I'm just I'm at the point, and then he fall off at the end of the year. Come on. I'm just at the point. I'm at the point where I'm gonna wait and see. I'm not gonna say it's the greatest draft or it's the worst draft. I'm not. I've been the last couple of years. Uh, the last couple of years, I've, I've been not giving a prediction on the win total. You know, so I mean, I'm just, I'm just at the point where I'm at peace. I'm at peace, and they took Aiden Hutchinson. I'm gonna support it. Proud Michigan man and, you know, very talented. You know, in this drive, they, I mean, they built the trenches again. You know, we've been building the trenches for years, and hopefully it finally pays off. I mean, shit, we had a Dominican suit, Nick Fairley. He just didn't want to fly right. Zeke Yansa, he was good for – he 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 lasted as, he lasted as long as a, as a carton of milk, you know. Um Cliff Avril, really young. I mean, we had a number of guys come through here in talent, and it still didn't fucking matter. It, you you can you you know had opportunity to drive Aaron Donald. You know, it, it just still didn't matter, bro. And at some point, if you can't drive football players, you just need to take capital and turn them into into known commodities like the LA Rams. Take a first round pick and go get a player. You know, and their biggest thing is they trying to drive high character guys, man. Like I said, man, at the end of the day, all they good is for us cleaning up the community. 
And, and when they come and help the community, they don't come to my community. They don't come to the community where people look like me. I just leave that there. So I don't care what they do in the community. What it's going to boil down to is they got to make this a destination where people want to come and play. And at the end of the day, they have not proved that. When Jameson Williams got drafted, at first it didn't like he was too happy. But you know what? I, I you know I ain't say nothing. I looked at some other pictures, and he looked like he was happy. So you know they still running this football franchise. They still running it like a business, and they never could see the bigger picture. They said, "Look, we got this dude making thirty million dollars." He gonna play. Why would we sit somebody? We gonna play any amount of money to? Why would we play them? He gonna play all games next year, and then if he not the guy next year, we'll draft one next year, and watch what happened. They are gonna be in that gray area. They are not gonna be too high. They are not gonna be. They are not gonna be too low in the draft. They are not gonna be too high. They are gonna be in that gray area. And that that other second round pick, that ain't no fucking capital. They was better off getting that off this year. Honestly, it's going to be a second-round pick again. Stafford going to win it again. You see what they did over there? So, you know, they t- they're more concerned about money, and it's always going to be what it is. They're more concerned about the money than winning on the field. They're more concerned about selling tickets. They, they're more concerned about, about making money than they are winning on the football field. And and that's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. You can never get them to see the bigger picture. That's the truth. It's kind of like trying to fix a problem, but you're trying to work around and take and take another, you know, take a lazy route, uh, lazy route to fix the fix the issue instead of just fixing it and getting it over with and saving yourself time and money from the get go. That's what the Lions is. They kind of find every way around putting a winner, except for being committed and putting a winner. And you know what that entails? That entails hiring some fucking body that's done the job before. That's what it entails. Hiring a GM that's done it. Not Matt Millen, not Martin Mayhew and Tom LeWan, who got promoted after Matt Millen went uh, 0-16. Not Bob Quinn, who ain't did it. Who Not Brad Holmes, who never... It entails... But you know why they don't want to want to pay nobody to do this job? It's not pretty. It's not so much the salary. It's not so much the salary, bro. What it boils down to is they're gonna have to spend money. They got to spend real money on a football team, and they're not committed. Why would I spend real money if I know I'm not gonna get real results? Why not keep making big money, making big profits, and I'm losing? Why do I want to create a winning culture? When I'm winning financially, when I'm winning financially, when we losing, why would I want to win? Why would I want to spend? I'm gonna lose money, and they might even though they go make that money back on uh, they're gonna make that money back on merchandise and jerseys and all types of stuff. They're gonna make that money back. But they don't look like that. They don't think like that. So, you no, know, it is what it is, man. But if, if this was the reason that they drafted him and, and that was the difference between him and Kibido or another prospect and it wasn't a football reason, I just let you know. I could see if they was even on the board and you said, we're going to go with his character. You know, I can see if you said that. But you know, you thinking somebody, you thinking that's gonna, you think that's gonna matter in the long run. When you start losing games, people still not gonna go there. They finding every reason. They finding every reason not to put a real football team out there. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. I have my opinions on the draft. No later than Monday. I plan on going live tomorrow. Hopefully, every on my schedule don't jam up. I plan on watching Miles tomorrow. So I'm gonna give Miles a bath and. Get that out. Many of my Mason already had their bath. So I'm a man up and wash miles. You know, I'm sure. I'm going to have to go in and pay them, pay the dog wash stations. I'm going to do that in the near future. But hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Uh, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop the video. 
a comment as well too that helps on financially support the channel cash at dollar sign cj good 313 venmo cj good 313 paypal link inscription uh other than that faster way reach me is twitter and facebook instagram all links in the description if a business question cry response your video quest appreciate the love support um also you can find my main youtube channel right here on youtube that's goodfella tv for more sports news and news and entertainment goodfella tv appreciate the love support one time for the one time mercy sports talk Chad and Trey Lines talk players more